launch of the James Webb Telescope has been one of the most remarkable events in history because of the high hopes associated with it. Its creators believe that this mighty telescope will unravel the greatest mysteries of the universe. So why is a powerful infrared observatory key to seeing the first stars and galaxies that formed in the universe? Why do we even want to see the first stars and galaxies that formed? One reason is, we haven't yet. So let's talk about it. Welcome to Cosmos Lab, your one station for all the news from space. Join us in today's video to find out what James Webb Telescope will reveal about the origin of the universe. Imagine knowing nothing about your childhood, nothing about where you came from, and spending years hunting for the answers. Then, someone hands you a just-discovered trove of photographs of yourself as an infant. You'd finally be able to scrutinize every detail, searching for clues about yourself and how you came to be the way you are. That's just what it will be like for astronomers once a long-anticipated $10 billion telescope finally starts sending images from the earliest universe. If all goes well, it will soon show them what the universe looked like as a newborn nearly 14 billion years ago. The impressive James Webb Space Telescope, the most powerful telescope of this kind ever made, was successfully launched by Arion Space on December 25, 2021. A joint program between NASA and its counterparts in Europe and Canada, Webb will discover the beginnings of our universe by reaching back in time to just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. It will also observe exoplanets, planets outside the solar system that are comparable to our own, as well as the formation and evolution of stars and galaxies. The ultimate aim of this successor to the iconic Hubble Space Telescope is to discover galaxies that reach back to the relative beginnings of the universe. This state-of-the-art time machine is expected to revolutionize all aspects of modern astronomy. It will unveil the hidden side of the universe, namely stars enveloped in clouds of dust, molecules in the universe of other worlds, and the light issuing from the first stars and galaxies. Moreover, the Webb Telescope will gather light in a slightly different part of the spectrum than its older brother. While Hubble observes the universe in bandwidths from ultraviolet to near-infrared, Webb will cover the spectrum from visible to medium-infrared. This means the new space telescope should be able to detect infrared light from galaxies that are so far away that the light from them has been traveling through space for almost the entire history of the universe. So when astronomers detect light from these stars and galaxies, it will be like receiving snapshots in time from distant past. We are trying to build up the story of how the first galaxies ever emerged and how they evolved into galaxies we see today and we live in today, says Marusa Bardak, an astronomer at the University of California, Davis. If you don't get the beginning right, it's really difficult to figure out what the whole evolution looked like. So is James Webb really a time machine? The Milky Way galaxy is humanity's home sweet home, but the universe contains hundreds of billions if not trillions of other galaxies. The Andromeda galaxy is the closest big galaxy to ours, you can even see it with the naked eye which is kind of cool, says Braddock. When you look at that galaxy, you see it as it was 2.2 million years ago. That's because it takes 2.2 million years for light to travel all the way from the Andromeda galaxy to Earth. Using telescopes, astronomers have been able to see far more distant galaxies, which means they've been able to see farther back into the universe's history. So far, the most distant galaxy ever discovered, GNZ11, was spotted by the Hubble Space Telescope. To the untrained eye, it looks like a red blob, but it's basically like looking back in time about 13.3 or 13.4 billion years ago. 
says Charlotte Mason, associate professor at the Cosmic Dawn Center of the Niels Bohr Institute and the University of Copenhagen. That's just 300 or 400 million years after the Big Bang. On the other hand, Hubble is limited to how far back in time it can look, so finding this galaxy was kind of a lucky break. Astronomers only spotted it because decades of using Hubble have let them scour much of the sky, and this particular early galaxy is surprisingly bright. It's potentially more massive or is forming stars much more quickly than most theoretical models would predict, says Mason. Already with that one galaxy, we've started to question some of our assumptions about how galaxies evolve. So the James Webb Space Telescope should be able to provide more information about lots of additional galaxies this old and even older, which will help researchers understand how galaxies formed and changed into the familiar shapes and structures seen today. We really need much more samples. We need many more galaxies and we need to step back in time to see how the galaxies are growing says Garth Illingworth, an astronomer with the University of California, Santa Cruz. The James Webb Space Telescope has technology that could let us see back to 100 million years to 200 million years after the Big Bang. Moreover, this telescope, which took decades to design and build, also has instruments that will let scientists probe the chemical makeup of the galaxies. Now, what would it be like watching the earliest stars in the universe explode? The holy grail for scientists who study the early universe is to find light from the very first galaxy or the very first stars. Those first stars would have formed from the elements created by the Big Bang, mainly helium and hydrogen. They set the stage for all of the subsequent galaxy and star formation, says Mason they really fundamentally changed their surroundings. The odds of seeing those stars with James Webb Space Telescope, however, are small, because according to scientists, there's maybe even more of a chance that we might see one of those stars explode. So those explosions would have spewed out other chemical elements forged in the earliest stars, setting the universe on a course where carbon, oxygen, and other elements ultimately become the building blocks of life. However, Illingworth believes that the James Webb Space Telescope won't be able to see the very first star ever. That's just practically impossible, he says, adding that even the first little growing galaxies with just a few stars also aren't likely to be detected. But we will go back to the point where we really start to see the galaxies at a very early stage so that we can trace the whole history, essentially from then, 200 million years after the Big Bang through now, says Illingworth. That's what's amazing about a telescope like this. With that, we have come to the end of our video. What are your thoughts on today's video? Share with us in the comments section below. If you like the content, do give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Until next time, have a great day and thank you for watching.